It is Derby Week, and this is the Hurry Up presented by FanDuel. I'm your host, Jared Smith. The 147th running of the Kentucky Derby is this Saturday, and who better to break it all down than FanDuel's Megan Nunez. Megan, how are you today? I'm doing really great. I am so excited to be talking Kentucky Derby prep, um, and I'm just so happy that things are getting back to semi-normal um, for this race, I mean, there's going to be, I believe, like 42,000 people in the crowd. I think they're doing the whole social distance thing. I'm just really excited to talk about um, something semi-normal again. All right, let's dive back into what we're hoping to be a very exciting race. And the favorite, uh, Essential Quality, is on your uh, roster this week. Uh, it, what are you seeing here with the favorite? Brad Cox is the trainer. He's never won a derby as a trainer before. Uh, why is this Colt uh, at the top of your card this week? I'm actually going to try to beat this horse. Uh, this is a two-to-one favorite. And thanks to Mattress Mac, this horse is giving all of the other horses definite value. Um, this horse will be the first gray horse favored since Giacomo uh, about 20 years ago, and they always say to play the grays. So I'm definitely not leaving this horse out of my exotics, um, but I am not high on this horse. Uh, this horse drew the 14 slot, which is the same slot that Tiz the Law drew last year, and we all know how that ended up for Tiz. Um, so as, as far as essential quality goes, I'm going to try to beat him, but I will be playing him in my exotics. Yeah, tis the law. Uh, that was a that was a fun race last year. Central quality reigning two year old champion uh, and five and zero with Luis Saez uh, in the iron. So we'll keep an eye on that uh, this Saturday. All right, next up, Medina Spirit, a colt at fifteen to one. Uh, long shot here, Megan. What are you looking at? Santa Anita Derby runner up certainly has the pedigree uh, and a Bob Baffert trained horse. Tough to fade the Bob Baffert horses in the Derby. They've won two of the last three. Yeah, this horse is definitely going to draw betters to the window just based on Bob Baffert's name. Um, Baffert going into this is going to be tied with most derby wins ever um, with Ben Jones if he were to win this derby. Um, obviously, Baffert has not seemed super high on this horse, but as you know, last year, his other horse in the race, Authentic, he was not very high on either. This could be a classic Baffert, you know, look at this hand while I get you with this one. Um, so I'm definitely not leaving the Baffert horse out of my exotics and um, might even take a little bit of money to win. Yeah, certainly going to be a fascinating race with Bob Baffert and John Velasquez in the irons. He was uh, uh, on the saddle last year uh, when Authentic won the Kentucky Derby. Well, it's not a derby weekend unless we get involved with some of the exotics. You have the exacta, you have the trifecta, you can box them. Lots of different ways to play it. Megan, how are your exotics looking for Saturday? Yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and play all exotics this weekend. I feel like the race is wide open um, between Essential Quality, um, Baffert's Horse, definitely playing them. I don't want to leave them out, but I'm also going to play a couple horses underneath for value. And I'm going to box them because, as I said, wide open. Um, the first horse is Mandaloon. Uh, that's the other Cox horse, and I really think that he could have some great value. He's had some monster workouts. The second one is Rock Your World, and I'm actually pretty high on this horse. Um, he's going to definitely set the pace and had a great draw. And then the last horse that I'm interested in is a big 30 to 1, um, and that's Soup and Sandwich. And I really just love this horse because of Tyler Gaffillion. He is great on the mount and has won me so much money when it comes to ponies. Um, so I just can't leave that horse out there, especially with the value. Tremendous horse names, too, uh, on this year's card. Certainly have some fun with that. Great job. Uh, the Exotics, a big part of the Derby. The Run for the Roses this Saturday. Uh, for Megan Nunez, I'm Jared Smith. You've been watching the Fandle Hurry Up. Uh, good luck with your bets on Saturday.